channel and as you can see by the title of today's video I will be giving you guys a two week hormone update yes bitches it's been two weeks but before we get into this update I want you guys to like comment and subscribe and turn on the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video and follow me on all of my social media which will be at the top or the bottom of the screen but with that being said let's get into the video girl but yes you guys it has been two weeks officially on my hormones and I am so happy and I cannot wait to share these changes with you guys so let's just get into it we're gonna start off with the first couple of days immediately after taking my first pill I felt so excited calm at peace and I was like everything is finally falling into place it was the best feeling ever I honestly haven't felt like that in 21 years other than when I um went to Vegas and you know was being my actual self but other than that that's what I experienced when I first took my pill you guys and on to the spiral and the lactone on the first day when I first took mine that night I started to experience hot flashes and things like that so that's what to expect on your first day now we're gonna go ahead and get to the third day on the third day my nipples started to itch and tingle I don't know where that was coming from but my nipples have never itched before and it just did like a little itch it wasn't like I was scratching like you know hard or nothing but it was just like a little itch and then it just went away I didn't experience it but within these two weeks I have experienced like my nipples itching so I guess that means they're growing or whatever and also with that being said I did experience a little bit of pain in my nipples on the third day as well that was basically what happened with me within the first couple of days of me taking my hormones. Now, girl, we're going to go ahead and jump into week one. And I do have some notes here of, on all of my changes that I have experienced. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it now. I'm going to tell you now. Week one was rough. So expect your first week on hormones to be rough. Okay, girl? Like, it was rough boobs. Okay, girl. So in the first week, I experienced boob swings. And I got irritated easily. I would basically go from happy to sad and depressed to angry and stuff like that. It was just all over the place. And when we get irritated easily, like when certain people tell me stuff or do certain stuff, it'll piss me off. Like, for example, when I was on the phone with my good friend from school, um, we were on the phone um, talking about like LA and stuff and, you know, me doing um, YouTube. And I basically had gotten an attitude about it because... Um, I don't normally get an attitude about that stuff, but I was just I just had an attitude and I really didn't want to talk about it because I was irritated at the time and I just wanted to talk about something else. So, girl, Shavonza, if you're watching this, it was the hormones. That's why I was being bitchy towards you and I apologize for that. But yes, that is basically what I experienced. And then the second thing is that I experienced was more pain in my chest. Um, I did mention within the first couple of days I did feel pain in my chest, but on this first week it got like a little bit worse so it wasn't to the point like where I wanted to scream or cry or it wasn't on a scale from one to ten I would say my pain was about like a one and a half it didn't hurt that bad it would come and go so basically yes I did have a little bit more pain in my chest so the third thing that I went through was unwanted thoughts and depression and I'm gonna dive into this deeper I was talking with a friend of mine and the testosterone is basically in a fight with the estrogen that's coming into your body. So lots of times you probably will get negative thoughts about your transition. Um, mine specifically was that I'm not transgender. Um, this is not the right path for me. And all this negative stuff towards my transition that I didn't, wasn't thinking on my own. This was the testosterone, you know, I guess trying to tell me to get this out of my body and... It was just a, basically a fight between the testosterone getting deleted out of my body versus the estrogen coming in. The estrogen was like, bitch, we're, we're this bitch, we're that bitch, we're coming in. This is right for Mercedes. And then the testosterone was like, wait, what the fuck is going on? So basically when that happens, you're going to have unwanted thoughts. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to have thoughts about you not being transgender and stuff like that. But that's just what happened to me. And I, I went through that within like... It lasted for like a couple of days and then it went away. Like today I'm on week two. It's completely gone. Thank God. Like when I first started my hormones, I didn't have thoughts about me not being transgender and stuff like that. It literally came from the estrogen 
you know, estrogen will do that. And I will go ahead and insert a picture. I did look up on the internet on what it thoughts and a lot of girls experience this as well so it was completely normal for you if you go through this and if any other trans girls went through this let me know in the comment sections below because I talked to a couple other girls and they really didn't go through it but my good friend Sienna was telling me like my basically our brains are going through like a traumatic experience so um our testosterone is like go back stop doing this so yeah girl that was just a fucking mess and then I was just depressed about like you know all the unwanted thoughts that I was having and things like that. I even g went and ordered me some hemp gummies, honey, cause I was like, bitch, I can't, bitch, I can't take this. My mind will not shut the fuck up. Like my mind was talking more than I was actually talking in my mouth. Like 24/7, my mind was just talking, 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 and wouldn't shut the fuck up. It was so annoying. But this is week two, and that completely went away. And yes, I have really bad anxiety as well. Like, I still have it now. Like, for example, my camera, my SD card wasn't working on my camera. So I started to get nervous about that. Usually I just get an attitude, but I won't get nervous. But usually I get nervous about a whole bunch of stuff that I wasn't used to get nervous about. So that's something that I am experiencing is more anxiety. I started to get hormonal acne like on my forehead and I am breaking out more from the hormones so it's like hormonal acne and it's annoying and on the first week I had a sense of feeling like I wanted to cry like um it I felt like I wanted to cry but tears weren't coming out if you guys know what I'm saying like I feel like I wanted to cry but tears were not coming out like boots I haven't got to that stage where I just start crying randomly that hasn't happened yet but I definitely have experienced a sensation of wanting to cry over little stupid stuff like one day I was just sitting in the bed and I felt myself about to cry and I started laughing at myself because like bitch what the fuck are you about to cry for but no tears were forming if you get what I'm saying and also another thing that is happening is me getting sad 24 7 I get sad about like stuff that's going on in my life or you know not having a boy not having a boyfriend but I really don't get sad over that anymore but when I do get sad it's like a deep sad you know like oh I'm in my feelings I'm listening to Nicki Minaj you know heartbreak songs and stuff like that and it's just it can last for an hour like an hour or two versus when I was on my hormones it would last for like 20 minutes and then I'll you know be fine but yes I do get sad more often than I usually do and it is more worse than it was before and then I do pee a lot like boots I drink a half a gallon to a gallon of water every day. I used to pee a lot before that, but it has doubled. I feel like every hour I have to pee at least five times. Like, I cannot sit down and enjoy myself, you know, just relaxing in my bed without having to get up and have to pee every 15 minutes. So, definitely expect that when you're on your spiral. Your spiral. It's going to make you pee a lot, girl. So, definitely be looking out for that. That is something that is going to definitely happen to everybody. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into the second week, you guys. Um, I only have three things for the second week, which is this week. And my face feels softer. Like, my... And my face just feels, like, really softer and feminine. -er. Like, I don't know. Like, before it felt rough and, like... It just didn't feel good. It wasn't giving, oh, that's a woman. It was giving, bitch, that's a man. That ain't no pussy, bitch. But, yes, it was giving very much, very soft and feminine. Soft and feminine, soft and feminine, soft and feminine. Okay, girl, it was giving that. And I've been, like, tired slash lazy. Like, I do not want to do nothing. Like, so my routines have, like, crashed, honey, because I do not be wanting to be doing anything, like, and the second thing that I experienced is me being tired and lazy. Like, I feel like I'm tired a lot and lazy a lot. Like, it, I have to push myself to go do something because I'm just so tired and lazy now. Like, I just don't feel like doing nothing but sitting in the bed, you know, on the internet looking for new YouTubers to watch or shows to watch and stuff like that. I just do not want to do anything or be bothered by anybody, to be honest. And next, the last thing that I experienced for this week was my cravings, you guys. Um, like, yes, I'm going to give you an example. Last night, I went into the kitchen and my mom had, like, some chips. Girl, I just started craving chips, like, the type of chips that she had. Like, we used to, I used to eat them with her when I was little. When I was little. And I started getting cravings for, like, uh, other things, like, sweet stuff. I was like, oh, my God. Like, bitch, I need to really chill out. I was going to go on Amazon to order this stuff. I was like, no, I need to chill out because, um. 
I don't want to, you know, get diabetes or anything like that. So, I really have to, like, watch out for my cravings. Like, I was craving a red velvet cake, and I actually bought one. It's supposed to be delivered today, and I won't be eating it until whenever, girl, but... Yes, the cravings are starting to come in, but I'm trying to eat healthy, and I definitely want to stay healthy and slim, because I do want to be a model girl, and I cannot be out here just eating down boots. Like, I have to be eating healthy and make sure my body's snatched. So, that is definitely something you want to look out for if you want to model or something like that. Just make sure you keep your cravings healthy. Crave healthy stuff. That's what I'm hoping that's going to happen with my cravings is healthy stuff. And I'm going to show you guys my my boobs. I don't have any breast tissue. I don't have any breast tissue. I don't have any. Hold on. I don't have any. Well, I, I can do this now. I don't know if I was able to do that before, but I really don't have any breast tissue going on. This is my um, boobs right here. But, yes, I've always had, like, a little bit of tissue, but I feel like it's a little bit more. So, I guess fat is starting to get in my breast now, but. You guys, that is basically all that I have experienced so far. If you guys want a one-month hormone update or a three month hormone update let me know i was planning on doing a one month but i was like i'm gonna wait until i go to vegas and do my three month hormone update so i can have my makeup professionally done and look cute for you guys and really so you guys can really see how my face looks because this makeup is not like i mean it looks cute but it really doesn't get down like to my real natural face like I didn't contour nothing like that so you guys really can't see and if you guys think my face looks different let me know I do feel more feminine when I look into the mirror sometimes but my dysphoria is still there so I can't wait until my boobs grow because that's definitely going to start to eliminate some of my dysphoria because I still have it and it's very strong when I sometimes look in the mirror sometimes I feel like a woman sometimes I feel like I look like a fucking man. Like, it just, it, it's irritating. But once my boobs start to grow and um, my hair starts to grow back, because I am in the middle of growing my hair back, so you already know what that's, the process is like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this two-week hormone update. And let me guys know which hormone update you want next, a one-month or three-month, or if you want both of them, I will deliver to you guys. And thank you guys for watching. Bye, girls.